You are watching the Dog Talk Show. We are discussing infertility, a very big issue which affects both men and women. So our experts in Sudia are going to tell us more about what could cause a couple, uh, people who are planning to have children, what could cause them from failing to have children. So uh, maybe I'll start with you, Mr. Dr. Chigundu. Uh, this infertility issue, what are the major causes? You know, it's quite a big worry. It would be very devastating. A couple has just gotten married, happily married, and all one, two, three months. There are no signs coming. What could be the cause? Yeah, um, the causes of uh, infertility are diverse, but uh, the most important thing to know is that um, both couples can contribute to the cause of infertility, as we mentioned earlier. It's not just a woman thing. Men, actually, there is a real burden about male infertility, mm. and the global burden is about 20%. Oh. Um, 20%. Men For contribute men, about 20%, 20%. Uh, to, to the burden of infertility. Mm. So on the men's side, uh, briefly, I would say that uh, um, most of the challenges we face um, are usually that uh, either a man cannot perform mm -hmm. uh, what people call <coughs> impotence, uh, for us, we, 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 we want to simply um, uh, talk about it as, as um, performance. Performance. So yeah, you can have, performance. yes, mm -hmm. you can have a man who has erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. That means they cannot erect, mm -hmm. initiate an erection, mm -hmm. or uh, sustain an erection. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, then you have so the so other... That, so that process being unable to perform... Because you have, to drive, you have to drive the semen. Mm. You have to drive the semen into the woman's reproductive tract. Okay. So if a man cannot drive that semen into the woman's reproductive tract, then uh, it can cause a problem. Okay, so what, 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 what are the main issues around that? Why around erectile dysfunction. Some men will have uh, mm. weak performance. So, uh, mm. briefly, the, the, as you know that our societies are changing, the most common cause of erectile uh, dysfunction, first of all, is age. Age? Yes. Okay. Uh, as you advance in mm. age, mm. more so more than 50 years of age, mm. usually you have uh, issues with uh, erectile, uh, ere erection. Mm. Then uh, the other thing are systemic diseases. Mm. Commonly mm. are diabetes mm -hmm. and hypertension. Uh, the, two biggest, of, the two biggest exactly, NCDs. Exactly. Okay. These are some of the diseases that have been ignored, especially in our countries, but, uh, the ones which are still developing. They have been mm -hmm. ignored, but they are <clears throat> contributing a very great burden. Because most of the men who come to the clinic with erectile dysfunction, you want to first take their blood pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and usually, when you take the blood pressure and random blood sugar, most, more, more often than not, you meet some, you, you, you find out that either pressure is elevated or the blood sugar is high, so they are diabetic. So it's true that even a young man, like 30 years, if they have diabetes, they can have uh, the poor performance, the impotence. Yeah, the diabetes, to get diabetes and hypertension are essential diseases that affect the nerves and, and the blood vessels. Mm. Uh, erection so is, affecting the performance. Yes, erection is a function of nerves mm. and blood flow. Um, of course, um, there are other issues. He has talked about that, and um, we we have a lot of young men actually now who cannot perform, um, and um, this goes down to to the lifestyle. Mm. Smoking is is a big issue. Okay. Alcohol, excess alcohol intake, use of drugs, especially recreational drugs, mm. is an issue. Mm. Then long cycling, cycling like. Uh, um, border border cycles, okay. long distance cycling and um, the, the trauma. Mm. The, when the, they get an accident on it. Not even necessarily an accident. Yeah. You're having a lot of potholes in Kampala. Okay. The trauma to the testes and, so, and the uh, trauma to that perineum can, mm. can cause the We hope our authorities are hearing very well. Yes. The potholes are, might be contributed to infertility issues here. But <laughs> apart from uh, <laughs> performance issues mm. in men, what other issues are there? Um, of course, there are, there are things which are easily neglected, like uh, we've seen men with uh, what we call retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation means a man doesn't produce semen. Actually, um, 
they instead of ejaculating forward, they ejaculate backwards into the bladder. Okay. okay. So uh, these are uh, we used to have stories of, of, of people ejaculating air, mm. anorgasmia. Okay. Yeah, ejaculating air. Yes, anorgasmia. The man ejaculates nothing. Things, it is uh, why, a, why a why nerve is problem. That? Why is that? It's a nerve problem. It's, it's common problem. with diabetes. Okay. And um, where the nerves that control the system are affected, so that when they ejaculate, they ejaculate within the blood. Actually, if such kind of men, you can only retrieve their semen and sperms when they urinate after coitus. And um, so we cannot uh, ignore that. It's, mm. uh, it's one of, of the things. Okay. Then you have uh, premature ejaculation. Mm. Premature ejaculation is, uh, we used to call them one minute men. Yeah. But so they're, they're ejaculating, they're releasing the sperm. So yes, uh, some, a, sometimes, sometimes mm. um, before they even reach the genital tract, mm. they have released almost half of the semen. And, and oh, that, that okay. can cause uh, reduced volume. Mm. But then uh, the common causes of uh, male fertility are usually mm. are due to obstruction mm. of, of, the, of the tube that carries semen from the testes uh, into the genital tract. And uh, these are usually because of either previous infections. We used to have a lot of gonorrhea. It mm -hmm. hasn't gone away, but uh, gonorrhea uh, is one of the main causes of uh, obstruction mm -hmm. of, of the male urethra and, 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 and the ducts. Okay. Uh, so that means that uh, even when the semen and the sperms are produced down there, they cannot come out. They are blocked. They, they are blocked. blocked. Yes. Then you had issues of previous surgery. Some men have undergone surgery, like surgery of the hernias, mm. uh, any surgery around the groin. Prostate surgery is real, including prostate disease. An enlarged prostate can close off um, the system. Wow, there are so, so uh, quite literally, there are so many. There are so many. Yes, yes, not but forgetting, but, yes. there are some men who are born, for example, without uh, testes descending down. Mm -hmm. It's a condition we call cryptochidism. It can also affect. Yes, some people get varicose seal, like enlargement of the vessels down there. Mm. So vessels in the what? In the, the testes. In the testes. Is, yes. Okay. So it, it interferes with the system or the flow. Mm. So it causes kind of obstruction. Yes. Okay. The and temperature uh, of the mm. testes is highly regulated. That's what the doc is trying to say. Mm. And even activities like sauna. Excess use of sauna. Even sauna. Exactly. Yes. Okay, now yeah. you're, now men you're, you're scaring kitchen, men who like, areas for long who like going to the gym. Okay, so. we need to regulate it. Eh? Like, don't stay in the sauna for long hours. It's going to burn if out. If you are going to go there, if, if you think you must go there, uh -huh. don't go for saunas for long hours. But long hours, like what, two hours, three? Those are, some people spend more than 15 hours a week in saunas. That is already... Uh, okay. a problem. So I think the, 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 heat temperature. Will, the heat will burn out the, exactly. the, 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 the yes. sperm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That is why the, the, the scrotum is hanging in a man, because uh, the testes cannot stand body temperature. All right. So it has to be, even putting on tight very, pants. Very, very interesting. Even putting on tight so pants. So lots of main issues are from saunas all the way to uh, having infections or uh, performance issues due to NCDs like diabetes and pressure. All these can contribute directly to having uh, infertility in men. So how about the ladies now? So uh, since uh, the, the lady, you the said female, that 20% mm. of the fertility issues are due to men, but you have listed like 10 causes. Uh, oh, I'm wondering yeah. what is in Actually, the Actually, the percentage could be more actually in men. It may it be, be more. more, yes. The factors are more in men. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, uh, however, mm. in women, you know, like we said, uh, with, with, to form a baby, mm. the sperm has to meet the egg from the woman. Mm. So, for example, if a woman has a, an issue with a sperm reaching her fallopian tube, mm. that's already a problem. So the commonest cause of uh, uh, infertility in females is, in Uganda especially, mm. is tubal blockage. The, the fallopian mm. tube tubes is eh? locked. Okay. Uh, yeah, and usually caused by infections. Infections usually we are sent and cause uh, some people get discharges, other people don't get. Yeah, they are needless to, say, needless to say you have, if a woman gets an infection, like a discharge, an abnormal discharge, please run to your gynecologist. Run because very fast. this is one of the commonest causes. Mm. 
Is it any discharge? Because we hear there are like candida. Does candida cause blocked tubes? Well, uh, candida is not a sexually transmitted infection. Mm, but we hear very many ladies complain. Yeah. They well, not candida, candida, candida doesn't. Candida doesn't cause blocked tubes. Okay. But there are some infections, especially if you say greenish, mm -hmm. yellowish discharge, something like that. Mm. So you think, and sometimes it's foul smelling. Mm. Even if it's, so, you run to the hospital because. Mm. It will take a short time, one year before you know it, you can't get kids. The other, the other problem... Maybe talking a little more about infections. Mm -hmm. um, so more about the infections. More about infections. Okay. Um, I, I usually crack a joke mm -hmm. with my patients that the female system is poorly designed. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> what does that um, mean now? Because, um, you know, it's an open system. Okay. Whatever goes in, ends up in the abdomen, All right. essentially. Uh, you know how these uh, so infections you're like are the infections will go inside the abdomen. Yes, the, the way you know when we are talking about this infection, the mm. doc is trying to explain gonorrhea, chlamydia, mm. cause a lot of havoc mm. on the tubes. But how do they get there? Yes, how do they get there? People are wondering now. now. How do? How how they get there? Obviously, most of them are sexually transmitted. Then you have issues of hygiene. Then you have menstrual problems where girls don't take care of themselves. But commonly. It is the sperm. You know when the sperm is, is deposited mm. in the female genital tract, mm. it has to swim up. Okay. Now imagine at every ejaculation, a man deposits over 20 million sperms. Mm -hmm. If you have bacteria within that semen mm. or bacteria within the genital tract mm. or within the perineum outside, mm -hmm. they, will be, they will get carried by 20 million sperms. Okay up into the tubes. Not forgetting the unsafe abortions. Okay, so there, are, so there are so many other common. causes. Yes. All right, so apart from, so we shall come to discuss more of the female issues. Uh, we have to go for a brief break, but um, if you're just joining us, we are talking about infertility that affects both men and women. In men, well, it's predominantly due to performance issues that's largely contributed by NCDs. In women, we have partly talked about infections, such as the STDs like um, gonorrhea and chlamydia. So we'll come back after the break to talk more about causes of infertility in women. Don't go away. We'll be right back. You are watching The Dog Talk Show.